first in tonight's news for your health, powered by HealthKey.com. It's just another day in the sky for the Penn State Hershey Medical Center Lifeline flight team. It's a team that in a tiny space full of medical equipment is able to care for critically ill patients in the air. Meet the Penn State Hershey Medical Center Lifeline flight team. Day pilot Tim Cargis, flight paramedic Mike Kurtz, and flight nurse Jill Shoemaker. All working in this ambulance in the sky. Because you function and there are two of you in the back, you have to be very sure of your fellow crew members, and I think we all have a very good working relationship. Their day starts at 6.30 in the morning, checking the status of the weather. There are some lingering showers. Briefing from the night before. Fuel load, 1,000 pounds. And an aircraft check. Then for the next 12 hours, they wait for the call, a call that can sometimes make a difference between life or death. We can make a difference every now and then. We can do, we do a lot of flights. A lot of them are pretty routine, pretty just, you know, we go from one hospital to another. Um, but every so often you have one that really sticks with you and you kind of remember it and we can make a difference. A difference that meant an early Christmas present for a patient waiting for a heart. It was a super, super clear night. It was a beautiful flight on the way back. It just kind of hit me. I just said, you know, somebody's going to get a heart on Christmas Eve. All of the flight members say they enjoy their job, not only because it changes daily, but because their time in the sky is spent saving lives. It's very rewarding to see them come here from another hospital that can't necessarily take care of the type of problem that they're having and come here and get the care they need. The little things that you do besides the elite things that we do with the helicopter, sometimes just the simple touch of a family member to reassure them, very gratifying. The Lifeline is equipped to handle any type of patient and anything that can be done in a critical care unit can be done in that aircraft.